Hi everybody, my name is Katie Jo. I am a drum maker, drum painter. I am a sound healing teacher and practitioner and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about why sound baths matter. You've maybe seen a lot of sound baths all over the internet and some events and what the process is is you can literally lie on a yoga mat or on the floor on a couch or sit in a chair and Practitioners play sound. They don't have to touch your body. They play crystal bowls or metal bowls, play drums, gongs, and different different sound tools. And the reason that it's a benefit is because the high waves and the low waves as they move through your body, they create different resonances and they create different frequencies. As the sound wave moves through your body, it supports your circulatory system. It also supports your nervous system. The sound without even touching can go through the muscles and loosen up blocks in the muscles or tight muscles. It can even, I've had people at sound baths where their back, their spine has adjusted itself as the muscles have loosened. Different, three different times I've had people who, um, who have recovered from strokes and haven't had filling in part of their body and during sound bath, they recovered some filling in their body. And part of that is due to the fact that the different tones and sound waves and rhythms and frequencies cause the brain to connect from left to right in different ways that it normally doesn't. And when the brain is working adequately more than it usually does and it's processing in ways it never has before, it begins to handle things and physical issues in the body that perhaps it was aware of but not really paying attention to. So it begins to administer to the body. It also releases chemicals for pain management, but it also, um, some of the chemicals that are released are serotonin, the feel-good um, chemical melatonin relax um, for stress, dopamine, which is, um, you know, you want to do it again, and then oxytocin, which is a bonding chemical. All of these things support the body and mood elevation. But I want to show you an example of how the sound waves work. So here we go. This bowl right here is hundreds and hundreds of years old. And as you can see, I've got water in it. Now the ancient bowls versus crystal bowls are not very loud. But watch and see the way the sound waves move the water. So in a very gentle, nurturing way, the sound waves can move through the water in your body and our body is almost all water. And it can support a lot of the functions and systems that your body already knows how to do. So those are some simple, simple basics on why sound baths work. And we'd love to see you in Lehigh, Utah. My studio is called Sage Canvas. You can find us at sagecanvas.com. We do sound baths every single Saturday and most Wednesdays. We also teach sound healing practitioner training for you to learn that to use this in your own home, on your own body, as well as taking clients. Thank you very much.